Kiki. And your toy. Did you get it stuck under the couch? Hi, Jackie. Hi. Where'd it go? What? Where did it go? What'd you do with it? Where's your toy? Oh, Betty found a toy. Oh, that's not your toy. That's a fish. That's for the kids to play with, not the dog. Please don't rip that up, okay? Or, did you, are you proud of yourself for finding a fish? It was on the floor in the living room. I know. It's because I got it out from under the couch the other day when I was cleaning. Good girl. Can I have it? Did you catch a fish? We whisper secrets with our best friends in the dark. Where'd it go? Where is it? Good morning. I thought I'd show you guys what I've done since the last check-in. So we have our strawberry layer on our Jello mold. It kind of looks like it might have leaked into the yellow. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like when I bring it out. I have the second cake that I didn't use in the baked Alaska iced. I made an, a vintage like frosting recipe, fluffy white frosting. The chicken's marinating underneath there. I just put that cutting board to level the cake. Done that. Um, the Red Bull has the ice cream and then the cake layer in. So it's just in the freezer. Got this set up to do my meringue later on. Got this all cleaned up. I do have a few more dishes right over there to do, and then I'm gonna put this stuff away once it dries. I've got my stuff I need for tonight set out, so I'll be cooking the chicken and these, plus the one that they're currently sitting in, on um, the marinade in, so that I'll get washed and used. These I'm gonna use for my breading station, so egg wash, and then the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese and the big one. That way I can just kind of, um, that way I can kind of just assembly line it. I have this little, whoo, shoot, have this little plate for the Jello mold, and I have this little dish milk glass for the baked Alaska. I have my fun little ashtray there. We put up the beaded curtain. I don't know if I showed you guys that. And then the dining room table is cleared and I washed it and the chairs. We gotta wash these still and we gotta wash those still. I just have those sitting on my placemat so they'll flatten out. I got the mural wall done. Just ignore that and listen to music while I'm cleaning. Um, I've got this all set up. So we have our like vintage sewing book, my fun sunlight. Put a candle here these i might put on the table i'm not sure yet we have our it's the good life banner up with our vintagey couch pillows here we have our other table over here i just added a couple things up there this my fern the ashtray and i cleaned up the mickey phone because i mean hello rotary phone of course we need one of those um my husband's out weeding the front. The dog is really pouty because nobody's paying attention to her. Aren't you? Are you pouty today? Did a pouty doggy today? Yeah. You just don't know what to do with yourself. I know. You're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. So I think everything's pretty much ready to go. My husband planning to do fried potatoes out of this 
entire bag of potatoes and then we got some Italian bread um, that we're gonna warm up and put some garlic butter on. This is like the biggest cast iron skillet I've ever seen. He went and bought this to help make the potatoes in so he wouldn't have to cook like three different batches. Um, one thing about his family, they really like bread and potatoes. So I kind of a little bit organize the kids stuff. They'll drag that out and play with it, I'm sure. But I put some of the toys underneath this desk here just so they're out of the way, like not in the floor. And here is the view from walking in. So the TV will have a slideshow of these, some of these photos plus a hundred, there's like 108 or nine total. So that'll be on the TV with a special playlist that one of her sons made, my brother-in-law. Um, that'll play. So you'll walk in and you'll see all the vintage -y stuff. I think I'm happy with this. It looks pretty good. I'll probably turn like the overhead lights on and stuff. I'm trying to keep it cool in here right now. Although it is much cooler. It rained overnight and I think it's been like in the 80s. So definitely better. But I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff washed up, all my cups and everything. And I'm just leaving this out until I get ready to do my um, meringue because it's just easier than putting it away and then pulling it back out. Oh, uh, Adam found my torch so I can torch the meringue on the baked Alaska. I put my vintage Betty Crocker cookbook, cookbook out. Can't speak, but I can cook. Um, the, the, this has managed to stay pretty clean. Like the only stuff that's on here is stuff that I'm using tonight. And then these are her birthday cake candles and some napkins to use for the party. So that's where we're at. Feeling pretty good. I need to go and get a shower and do my hair because this is the current state of me. <laughs> I haven't done anything this morning to myself. So I'm going to go wash my hair and blow dry it. And then I'm planning to flip it kind of out and curled, kind of like Kitty Foreman's flippy hair. You know, like, you know what I mean. You'll see. I'll take some pictures. Anyway, um, I think my downstairs room is all ready to go. I picked up a little bit this morning. Let's see. Is there anything else I need to address in here? We'll probably put that tray table away just to give more room if anybody wants to come sit down here. It's always cooler in this room when we're all together, so sometimes some people will come down and sit in it, but it looks pretty much the same from when I cleaned it the other day. So don't really need to do much to that. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for now. We'll see, what do I have left that I need to do? Um, the meringue is supposed to freeze on the baked Alaska for two hours. Party, we said people could start showing up after four o'clock. Um, so I'll probably make the meringue about, I wanna try to eat by 5.30. I should look up and see how long those chicken breasts are gonna take to cook. Probably make the meringue about 3.45, I'll start that get that on the baked Alaska, get it in the freezer. Then I'll start the chicken and surely we'll be close by then. I don't know. My husband has a ton of potatoes to peel, so it'll all depend on him. I can keep the chicken warm in the oven because it's just a baked chicken. So I'll just turn the oven down and keep it warm if we're not ready yet. But Luckily, most everybody's flexible. I just like to have a goal in mind and I'm usually about 15 to 30 minutes behind that goal <laughs> but that's just how it is so I'm gonna go get ready for well get my shower I'm not gonna put my outfit on until like right before people start showing up because I'll end up spilling something on it or something um, so yeah feeling good about where we're at and I'm not running around crazy I got up at like 8.30 this morning, I had time to have coffee and kind of chill. 
I watched a couple episodes of Grey's Anatomy while the, the vacuums ran. I do want to mop the floors quick, so I'll probably... I may do that before I go upstairs. Just get that over with. Um, so dishes, mopping, shower, hair. <laughs> I feel like that's going to take the longest. So, anyway, that's what's going on right now. Just wanted to give an update. And um, we'll... I'll see if I can get some um, footage of like the food when it's done. Uh, we're supposed to take a bunch of pictures, like family photos, but I doubt everybody wants this online, so I'll probably skip that part. Um, I burnt one of my incense little cones. Ashes. I put the ashes in the ashtray, so it looks like there's actual. It looks like there's actual cigarette ashes in there now. It's so funny. Um, the cat. The cats like looking out those windows a lot. And so I'm just trying to keep an eye on them that they don't hang from the little tapestry there. Right, Boyd? Yeah, we're not gonna hang from the tapestry, right? Yeah, we can't tear up Penny's decorations, right? We gotta let her see them. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Yeah, 